who doesn't love doing their makeup? Well, if you're watching this, you probably do like doing your makeup. But I think one of the best feelings is when you get home and you can just take all that makeup off. I'm in my PJs right now, and we're about to do a Get Unready With Me video. Hey everybody, I'm Recycled Stardust, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to take off your makeup and just pamper your skin. I'm going to be using a few different products, but one of the first products I use is the Garnier Skin Active. This is my cellular water. If you've never tried my cellular water, basically it removes makeup, it helps to clean your skin, it purifies pores, it really just overall makes your skin feel amazing. And what I like is I have oily skin, like you might be able to see it, like my T-zone, aside from like my highlight, I've got some oily skin going on and this is gonna help to just combat it a little bit. I'm wetting up a cotton pad. It's very moist, I make mine very moist. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wipe away my makeup and I love that like in one or two passes my makeup is gone. Even the tough to remove liquid lipstick. So let's take off these lashes. Woo. Woo. So if you see, look, it took care of my liquid liner and all of my shadow very easily. Now you don't have to totally saturate your, your wipe or your napkin or your cotton, but I do because I love just my first pass, I like it to be very moist. As you see, it's getting everything. It's like all the glam is going away, turning back into a pumpkin. Gotta get that neck, don't forget the neck. So now that my napkin is totally saturated, I like to just take a second one and do a second pass. And as you can see, the second pass is much cleaner because really you only need one, but sometimes stuff sometimes stuff gets in pores and you really want to make sure you get deep cleaning in there. I like to rub in between my lashes. It helps to remove any lash gunk or any leftover mascara. If you're a contact wearer, this isn't really going to irritate the eye either. So there we go. Still a little dirty, but not as dirty as the first one. So now we're going to do one of my favorite activities, which makes me feel like I'm at a spa, and we're going to mask. So I'm going to be using the Purifying Black Charcoal Mask, and this is from the brand Sui AE Soe. I never know how to pronounce things. Like I am the worst. I butcher things. I notice that you guys get really mad at me when I can't pronounce things. I'm just terrible at it. So it's this brand right here. We're going to be doing some charcoal masks. Now the purpose of charcoal mask is it really helps to pull out impurities of the face and I feel like it works well with the micellar water because the micellar water is clearing out your pores basically but this is going to clean them out even more and it's going to prevent those blackheads. I'm a big proponent, I'm a big, big fan, just a huge fan of preventative measures rather than fixing the problem once it occurs. I like the way it smells. It smells fresh. Like just, just has like a showery, clean, soapy smell. So I'm gonna push down the edges. Mm, really nice. It feels really cool and refreshing. There is some extra liquid leaking out here. So I'm just gonna rub that on my neck. Now the directions of this product says to you, um, it actually here, it describes exactly what the charcoal is good for. It's known as an anti-inflammatory. It's known to purify, brighten the skin. And this has cultured green tea extract and green caviar extract. So it's more than just charcoal, more than just what you see. And if you're unfamiliar about sheet masks, they're super comfortable and super soft on the face. They feel like, Kind of like you have like seaweed on your face you kind of feel like you have that spot experience which i think is nice now um this is supposed to be left on the face uh first you're supposed to cleanse the face we already did that and then you're supposed to leave this on the face for 15 to 20 minutes and if you use this in the daytime make sure you use sun protection after use 
honestly though guys, you should be using sun protection every day anyway. Whether you're using it in your foundations, but be careful if it's in your foundations, you're going to get flashback if you're doing flash photography or if you're having your picture taken. So the best bet to do is before you even put on your foundation is put that sun care on. Even when I do my tutorials, I forget to tell you guys or I forget because it's just so integrated into my routine. I wake up, put my sunscreen on and that's it. But I'm telling you guys, even if you're not putting on this mask, be on top of your sun, be on top of your skin, your sun care, be on top of your sun protection because skin cancer is not fun. So let's wait 15 minutes. So while I have this on my face, I'm going to be using a lip product. This is the So AE, So E, My Collagen Hydrogel Lip Patch. So let's get this on. So what this is going to do is it's going to soothe away lip lines and it's going to help dry crack lips in 15 minutes. So this and this are on for the same amount of time so they're perfect for pairing. It's really jelloey. It feels like um it feels like one of those if you guys remember creepy crawlers it kind of feels like creepy crawlers. Oh, not being able to talk for 15 minutes is torture. So let's get this mask off. Ooh. Ooh. So my skin feels amazing. Now you're supposed to rub the excess from the mask into your face. I like to with masks, I like to put a little bit on my hand. Like I like to take what's left of the mask. Like sometimes I'll squeeze a little bit out. And I'll put it on my hands and I'll just get some good loving on my hands because I don't know if you guys know but aging you know you can hide it on your face you can hide it on your neck you can hide it everywhere but a lady's age will always be given away on her hands so if you're doing a sheet mask follow my grandma's rules and put some put some love on your hands whatever it is the serums the gels the lotions whatever it is put some on your hands always put some on your hands so I'm rubbing this in and it feels amazing like my skin feels so smooth and so moisturized like I really I feel in heaven right now um, now I do want to talk about the lip product my lips do feel like a little tingly like not tingly but definitely like like something was on there now my lips like I feel like I still have the fine lines that I had I feel like it's not like a miracle product but I definitely did like the way it felt. The only thing is it's huge. Like if you have big lips, it'll work for you. But on me, it was like, way too, it was just too big. Like I felt like it was too big and it didn't stay on. Like I had to keep putting it on. So I was a little bit disappointed in the lip. But if you have big lips, if you got like big, nice full lips, you're gonna love this. But for me, I don't know, it was just a little bit too big for me. I would like them to come in two different sizes. The purifying charcoal mask was amazing and my skin feels fantastic. Another product I like to use when I'm getting unready is the Soe. And by the way, this is simple skincare from the best of nature. So a lot of these products are very natural. They're very good for your skin. They do contain a lot of chemicals. I forgot to mention that earlier, but I wanted to mention it now. And on the bottom of each product, you see exactly what it does. So this contains donkey milk. It restores moisture and it's an overnight mask. So you get all the details on each one of the products you're using. And I find that really helpful because sometimes you don't want to read through the whole list on the back. You want to know instantly what it does. So after I've done my mask, Sometimes I like to apply a sleeping mask and basically this is just a moisturizer that you put on your face while you're sleeping. You can use this with your serums, you can use this with other products like it says just clean your face and you can use it with your serums or your moisturizer, you can use it with other products like that. So you can definitely combine this with your sheet mask because that's what I like about it. So this I'm just going to be rubbing onto my skin and this is literally just a cream. Yes! And it feels really nice, especially after I've used the sheet mask, because my skin is already smooth and just glides on. And I pay special attention to underneath my eyes, because your underneath your eyes and your eye area in general is very sensitive tissue. So if you're going to be using a sleep mask or something that's going to be on your face all night, you really want to pay attention to those more sensitive areas. So you really hydrate them. And it also helps to prevent dark circles in the morning. Also, don't forget the neck. 
what did I tell you earlier? The hands. Hands are super important. If you happen to have sleep gloves, this would be a great time to put them on. So if you're putting this product all over your hands as well as your face. And donkey milk really helps to restore skin. So it's a very natural ingredient that's going to help your skin look its best. So now that my skincare is done, my skin feels refreshed, and I'm ready for bed. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this get ready with this get unready with me video. If you like this video, let me know in the comment section below. I love hearing from you guys. If you're not already, please be sure to follow me on Instagram at Recycled Stardust. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching.